All right, where we are. We're selling marketing services. How many people in the room are selling marketing services in their business? Okay, we are selling marketing services. But most of us are still primarily printers. Print is still, you know, 75% of our business. I don't, what's, anybody else want to care to share any percentages? 95. 95, okay. Okay. But there's also been a decline since uh, somebody said, uh, I believe it was Chuck earlier, said, said no, it was the, the social media guy, said 2008, the year that officially sucked. Uh, there's been a decline in print volume. How many people have had a decline in print volume since 2008? Okay. We're, we're all in the same boat. We're just alike here. Margins are shrinking too. We're not making as much money on the print. We're still selling. Correct? Okay, then. I'm in the right spot. And we all know that excess capacity in the market are going to continue to erode margins. Is that, do we believe that to be true? So, so we only have some, uh, you know, a couple of choices here as we move forward. It's who do we want to be or where do we want to be? We want to uh, reduce the price pressures on traditional print. How many people want to do that? We want to quit fighting about price to, to, to customers. I can't tell you the times on print sales that I go back and lower my price and I get a call back from the customer and says, well, your competitor lowered you know, $100, $100 below you. It's like, how many times do we have to go back and forth like this? You know, when do we get some pricing backbone? What we really want is, is no competition for print dollars. How many people want to, want to walk into a customer and they say, I'm not getting a price from anybody else you're yet? I mean, yeah, there's not nearly enough hands up in the room. Uh, uh, I know it's a, it looks like a pie in the sky, but, but that's what, that's what we're, we're doing, what we're getting. We want more high-value sales of marketing services. I mean, we're seeing marketing services sales uh, uh, in the 95% in the margin range. Is that, are, are you guys, you guys that are selling marketing services now, are you seeing those kind of margins on those sales? Jason, you, you've got tons of customers. Would you say that's probably true? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's what we need if we're going to survive uh, with margins constantly shrinking in print. The biggest thing we need is increased confidence in our marketing capabilities. How many people in the room, if you, if you can talk a salesman into going out and selling a cross-media campaign, have problems with, with confidence in, in the people you have in, in your building to execute once it's sold? How many people worry about execution after the sale? It's a big problem. It's a, it's, so today it's a bigger problem than sales, I think. So this is where we want to be. These, these, are the, these are the places we want to be. Would you all agree with that? Okay. So how do we get there? I'll tell you, I've got a, uh, a whole slide devoted to what I think is the biggest problem that we as printers have when trying to make this transition to this new breed of marketer. Now, I don't say the marketing services provider because I think that I don't want to be a mar. I, I was a marketing services provider before I made the first Pearl. I was I was providing print to marketers, you know, long before Pearls were born. I've been in this business 30 years. I don't think that uh, uh, being a marketing services provider changes me when I add the technology. I think it's time for me to be a marketer. And I think we have, all of us in the room have the ability, have the technology, to, to, to do that, uh, to, to be the kind of marketer that provides strategy, that provides execution, and provides all the deliverables within house. It's what we do, and I think everybody in the room has the, has the ability to do that, to displace marketers. The old rules of marketing are dead. It's, I'll tell you, it's incredibly easy once you figure that out. Leo Tolstoy says, everyone thinks of changing the world, but nobody thinks of changing himself. Change has got to begin within the management of the printing companies, the way we think. So what do we want to be in five years? We've seen what's happened to our businesses in the last five years. We just talked about how our margins had eroded, our volumes had eroded. So what do we want to be in the next five years? Here's the biggest problem that, that we have in our businesses. And I've got the president of our company sitting right back there in the corner. He'll tell you, commitment is the biggest challenge to success when becoming a new breed of marketer. The fact that we're unwilling to, over long term, over long periods of times, through successes and failures, to make a commitment to being a new kind of company is our biggest challenge. So I think that's, I think that's really the, you know, the, the crux of the matter. We have to lose the printer mentality. 
What do printers do? What do what do print what do print salespeople do? They take specifications and orders. They say, okay, what have you got? Tell me what you have. How many pages do you want? How many colors? What kind of paper? What quantity do you want? How much are you willing to pay for this? That's what printers do. That's what print salespeople do. We have to start delivering real solutions to real business problems. Now, when I say real solutions to real business problems, I don't mean a free upgrade to a, to a better paper. I don't mean giving them a fifth color. Those aren't business problems. Those are adding specifications <laughs> to that. I mean going in and finding out what is going on in the business and providing a solution for that that may or may not include print. 